And did you ever check out that Dugan interview with with um, Thaddeus? Yeah, yeah. I thought it was. I uh, tried. I tried to listen to it. <laughs> Dugan is just hard to listen to. Yeah, he's got a really thick Russian accent. Yeah, and then like the points he makes are really weird. It's a. I think I understand it a little better because uh, it, he kind of. Sounds... I know he was. He was. Um, I know he was critiquing like modernity and um, some other philosophical movements. Yeah, that's why. That's to... why. That's why I had it. Bit, like some of what he says is confusing, but I maybe had a slightly easier time understanding him because he kind of sounds a little bit like a post-structuralist like Foucault in particular, or Derrida, in terms of criticizing the Enlightenment and liberalism. And uh, yeah, just having similar criticisms like that, so more similar to Foucault, like, yeah. but he's also anti-Enlightenment, more like the critical theorists in the Frankfurt School too. So he's even more radical than mm -hmm. the post-structuralists like Foucault. Yeah, that was really, really weird interview yeah that's what that's one uh alexander dugan is one person slash subject that i'm going to talk about with ben burgess when we talk next we're going to talk about that and then also uh criticize basically criticize anarcho-capitalists and austrian economics uh because there's a strong anti-capitalist left-wing history of anarchists, classic anarchists like Bakunin and Kropotkin. And if you read books by Austrian econ economists like Hans Hermann Hoppe and von Mises, you see that a lot of their, the, a, a lot of their political philosophy is to, on economics is just that. It's philosophical faith claims and tautologies that they use to uh, create their economic worldview, so it's anti-empirical and it uh, and it clashes with reality, basically, which is why it's so stupid. But yeah, the, <laughs> and Alexander Dugan is interesting too because he's, according, depending on who you who you believe, he supposedly has a large influence on Putin and Putin's apparent philosophies and like i said it depends on who you believe about how strong of an influence he has but that's why it's interesting to examine his philosophy mm -hmm. yeah, it definitely has like an anti-western bent um. yeah yeah for sure and the, it's interesting it, it'll be interesting when i talk with ben burgess about that because i didn't know until i saw one of his episodes recently uh that lefties like him consider Alexander Dugan to be a traditionalist conservative and right and even a right-wing reactionary which is interesting because I didn't I mean I hadn't heard anything about that from when Thaddeus Russell interviewed him on his channel and when he had the philosopher Michael Millerman on to talk about Alexander Dugan when did it have Michael Millerman on uh, I think he had him on relatively recently. I think that might have been his second appearance on there, though. So I think he might have been there, on there at least twice. And he came on to talk about Dugan? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He was on there. I'll have to he check was... that out, too. Yeah, it's interesting. It, it's interesting that it, because he explains his philosophy, too. So that might be easier to understand as well. Yeah, I was having trouble. I was like, this Dugan guy, so hard to follow. <laughs> yeah. Have you uh, have you heard about that guy, Chris? I don't know what he's doing there, but yeah. Dubin. He's. In... There we go. I was not paying attention. Oh, okay. Have you heard of Alexander Dugan? Yeah, that name sounds familiar. You bet. He was um, he was on Thaddeus Russell's podcast, and he's a Russian philosopher who's kind of like an anti-enlightenment traditionalist, and kind of has re really interesting critiques of liberalism too. 
but he's also considered by some lefties like Ben Burgess to be a traditionalist conservative, conservative and a right wing reactionary. So yeah. it's interesting. He's got the he's beard. Next... Is that right? Yeah. 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 No, I, know I don't know like, what he looks like. Never watch his watch the show. Yeah, check out his uh, his interview on Thaddeus Russell's podcast, and also like I was just saying to Dusty Michael Millerman, who's another philosopher who uh, was on Thaddeus Russell's channel recently, who was talking about Alexander Dugan's philosophy. Huh. Okay, yeah, I know I was. This is the one that who I was thinking of, but I'll I'll check him out. Yeah, and I didn't know until recently too that he supposedly has a large influence on Putin and people disagree about the extent to which that's true. 